welcome back to the channel. Um, I've primed the car now and I, I did find I had a little bit of a, a problem with water in the airlines and coming through the air gun. Uh, I have got a, a pre-filter which I'll show you in a moment but I've decided that for, for actually painting the car I want to try and minimise the, the water as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and build a, a water trap so I'll, I'll try and talk you through the, the build and, and what I'm going to basically be doing to get rid of the water in the system. I've had a, a look at a couple of videos already of how, how you can do it using like an old radiator and things like that but I'm hoping I can just do it with some uh, some copper pipe work. Never tried it before, don't know if it'll work um, but I've got the stuff so it's, it's all in the shed, it's not going to cost me any money so I'm just going to give it a try and obviously if it works it's a, a pretty cheap way of doing it even if you haven't got the stuff and you've got to buy it. Right so this is the trap that I've got at the moment. It is catching water in it but not as much as I'd like. So the idea is, and I, I need to put a, an airline point outside anyway to feed it because obviously I've got the remote compressor now. I'm connecting it up via an external airline into the garage. So the idea is I'm going to come off here so, some way. I'm going to split it off and make a, a grid pattern so that it drops down, goes around, and it, it's basically so that the water falls to the bottom. I'm going to then put um, like a compression type stop cap on the bottom because I've not got any valves at the moment. I will pick up a valve at some stage. I think I've got some in, in my other garage. So I'll crack on with it. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully it's going to work. I don't think I'm going to know it's going to work properly until obviously I start painting again or do a, a long duration job like sanding, which I've not got to do at this stage. So I just want to get this out of the way for now. Right, the compressor's all charged up now. As you can see, it's all soldered up as you will have seen, hopefully in the time lapse. The idea is, air comes in, shoots down, there's a trap down the bottom and a valve, and I'm hoping that just there finds its way up. On the outside, I need to mortar in, but that's where it taps into. And then, quick release. Like that. So it's at the side of the pond so you can't see it. And to be fair, it's like that. So what I'm going to do, I'll set the camera on the tripod so you can watch the gauge but you really want to get into the compressor. So, well I don't even hear it just in case anything explodes. Alright, this is real time and this is the first time we'll get it in. Let's see what happens. As you can see, not a lot. I'll check it for air leaks and uh, all seems okay. That's it, just over 100 psi. That might be a little bit more actually. Right, I've just turned off the fountain under the pond so you can hear me this time. The, the air filter has been cycling several times, so what I'm going to do is unplug it. 
police car goes past. So that's some talk. Check the water trap. There's a tiny little bit in there. But to be fair, I didn't try it first. Let's open up the tap underneath and see if there's anything in it. There you go. That's the compressor running maybe five minutes. Now, to be fair, I haven't cleaned out the actual compressor itself. So I've not released the water out of the vessel. So it's probably getting a little bit more in it than it should be but it's definitely cut it down. I had my hand over the end of the air hose as well and nothing's getting through. Whereas before it was filling up within maybe an hour, right to the top. So I'll see how it goes anyway, but so far so good.